Night number six of what has become an okay run. Oh, I, I think I wanted to destroy some some of those uh, those corpse piles. Well, I guess they'll help us with that. Perhaps to no one's surprise but my own, we uh, we have the, these speedy runners again, which are like my least favorite of all. And hoppers again. Let's see if I step to here, I can jump over. Yeah, the two back walls, especially on Lakeburg, make a big difference. kill those guys right now. Move away from the wall and now back over here. What are we up to? See that stun chance? Not to be trifled with. Okay, that means you have a wand, so we are going to ice that guy. If if our problem is, is that we're killing too much stuff, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm not sure doing those stuns right now is is actually serving us, but it's a little weird to me that the the cl the crawlers choose their target selection is a little odd to me like why would it choose to hit the corpse over the wall seems weird i'm really happy with this magic scepter pickup Should have, should have doubled up on this one here, but... Take some steps back to avoid getting s sniped by the hoppers. So this does 90. 90 times 3 is 270. That would be a kill. We don't really want... We don't really want to get the kill if we can avoid it. Say as I get the kill anyways. Okay, that side looks good. Now over here, this guy's just a wild card. He could go anywhere. So if I can toss one of those there and then get these guys.
You have four movement. Do we have a wand user over here? Not anymore. All right, so you won't move. Yeah, I do think the corpses are getting in the way. How much crit does Corolla have? Corolla feels like they are critting significantly more. Was Corolla the one that we gave the uh, gave the crit armor to? No, her crit is four percent. All right, all these heroes blur together a little bit. If I'm being honest, <laughs> actually we can stand here. I think I think scepters might be uh, might be the way. It's very it's very interesting. The the value of scepters with a little bit of skill range is pretty extreme. For giving you a lot of damage, even if you're not. For not investing much in it, I guess is what I mean to say. Uh, let's see, now you, you have decent range, so we can at least... If we walk one more, more over. Might as well chip these guys down. Oops. Oh, now I, I ignored... Oh, I haven't done the side at all. This side is good, though. Okay, and I haven't even started on this side. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. Building walls from the corpses of our enemies. Reminds me of uh, Conan the Barbarian and... Uh, what, what was the mantra? The something, the something, and the lamentations of the women? Or something like that? Or, or was that a weird, like, uh, musical version of, of Conan that I'm remembering? It's one, it's one of the two. Your motto. <laughs> As you do. Like, they're, they're not even going to get through our bone piles here. Like, shockingly good defenses, these, uh, these corpse piles. Okay, that's real? Okay. I, I think they're... If, if you want to look it up, RC, if you want to uh, serve the cause, I believe there was someone made a musical remix of it where he where he sings it and it's it's absolutely one of the most horrific things you will ever uh you'll ever experience on this earth yes and lustrous do tell the corners of the walls open 
to so that would that would force runners in that direction that i think is the primary result that that would cause So, so, uh, just, just as a, like, interesting idea for sure. The only caveat to that, because I was talking about this with, uh, someone in the YouTubes as well. The, the issue is that only a very small portion of enemies actually path to openings. Uh, it is not, it is not universal, sadly. Uh, and specifically, it's like runners and clars that actually care about uh, gaps and defenses. So it would only move. It would only change the pathing of them. There's a lot of hoppers at the moment. That's 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 the feeling that I am feeling. Is wow, this is a lot of hoppers. I'm gonna get you off the wall. Actually, and before, I guess before we do that, we should probably. You say worst, I say greatest musical, totally worth it. I, I said worst with, uh, with a lot of knowledge that, uh, that it is in fact one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Uh, so I, uh, I'm glad you went and looked it up. It, it is, uh, I remember it from like. I want to say like my college era it was uh it was doing the rounds and it's whew, it's something to behold is all i have to say let's see nobody over here i'm gonna come back to that in a second let's get Let's get these guys sorted out. Who's our we do we have a wand user over here, right? I I think I've decided that it's it's not worth attacking these guys with anything other than wands. <laughs> the riddle of steel is a legit line. Yep. I I think they're all I think they are all legit lines. Like I I think everything that he says there is from uh is from the the movie and it was just kind of like tweaked to be uh to be music like musical esque, and it's it's pretty hilarious. I'm gonna hit this guy. This may look like a bit of a waste, but this guy not doing any damage means I don't have to worry so much about where he goes. I can just I can just kind of ignore him now. We are gonna need to move back because we're gonna have we're gonna have hoppers coming in. Let's see, that's probably a kill. Yeah. Hmm. Three? I doubt we get the kill here. That that felt about right. And then if I come over here. Hmm, if I move one more. This is probably a safe place to stand, and we can get three pokes in like that. And then back down here, yeah, we've gotten rid of all the panic. Should have probably put more work in on this guy, but. And then let's take a step back, or maybe even two. So this guy flanked, but joke's on him. He's about to hit for zero. Wah! Oh, he missed too. Of course he did. Okay, so we're going to start out with our hammer bro, who...
can't hit this guy though, which is super annoying. What do I want to do here? Hold on, let me let me think on that one. Cause I may I may have someone you I, I said this before and I, I should stick with it. Wand users only. Uh that's annoying. Hold on a second. We got we got bees over here. This this crew looks like they they deserve some beezing. There we go. Perfect, actually. Actually perfect. And then you can spend out the remainder of your turn clearing these guys. Which means now I can move over this way. Beautiful. Now we have tons of mana, so how how strange that I'm sitting here being like we have lots of mana, right? Have, do we have transfer? No, we don't have transfer. All right, so let's see. So over here, it's a little hard to even see where the exclamation points are in the sea of destruction, but and I these guys that are stunned up against the wall, they're providing more protection than anything else. So I don't want to kill them. That guy wasn't, though, as a side note. And then... We'll just let that guy do the one. This guy's going to come in anyways, so we can do that. I haven't even used you, and we're on zero panic? Holy cow. I, I want to get rid of this, but I can't quite get the shot off. Oh, and the stone wall is blocking me from, from getting that guy. I was like, is this stone wall going to bite us? The answer was a emphatic, obviously. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to soften up the ones we can see. Keeping a wall of stunned enemies in front of the wall uh, to get no panic looks like it could be fun if you could ever do it consistently. I mean, you, I, you can do it very consistently on normal runs. Uh, like, where, with level ups. If you get up to 100, 100 stun, you can uh, you can do a lot of amazing things with, uh, with stun and walls. So I, I think very, uh, very, very doable. You, I think you're just done. Yeah, just leave you. But yeah, later nights, it uh, you stop having the ability. I guess maybe I shouldn't even count it out for this one. Oh, because now that I think about it, we'll always have a lot of cannon fodder enemies. So maybe we can keep bulkies and things at bay just using that. Seems... Seems reasonable. Maybe is that the is that the secret sauce? Just buy all the stun gear and get to the point where we can reliably stun. We 
can reliably stun the front line, and then we just have to figure out how to get all the stuff behind it. It'd certainly be a weird way of going. I don't know why I killed that guy. That was unnecessary. We may run out of steam a little bit here. Out of movement. All right, we'll just go for that. Good effort. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're gonna get everybody up there. I think we'll we'll do this side just fine. You are not dead. Or you're not stunned, is what I meant to say. But we love gambling here, don't we? Spirit of the channel? It certainly is a spirit of the channel, perhaps. Let's see, get you. Uh, we can't get this guy because of the, because of the mist sensor. Or the wall that is protecting him. Uh, how much movement do you have? If we move one further over, does that help at all? No. That was just for good measure. So let's see. You. I think we got a warp gate, yeah? Someone else is going to have to do that one. I should not have spent that action there. Impressed that the warp gates came online at like exactly the right moment. Bad misses on this could, could still sink our ability to get rid of. Ooh. All right, and we still we still struggle with this guy, but it's not too bad. And uh, side stun is uh, is doing insane work. Yeah, I'm I'm wishing we had a stunner on both sides right now. Obviously, uh, shieldy dudes would would ruin our fun a little bit. That's all our movement. Hmm, kind of awkward actually. Not, not exactly what I wanted to accomplish there. 
In fact, leaving that panic there was a big, a big mistake. Actually, hold on. So we'll, we'll leave a little more action. We don't need much to kill that guy, so... Slow death to cinch it. Let's... Get some opportunism going here. Because I think we, we have more than enough... Actually, yeah, that's... Same with here. We have more than enough actions, I think, to get everybody mostly done. I take it back. I, that might have been... This is the problem with the book. You get, you get power hungry. Oh, and then you forget that there's a guy over there. Hmm. So we start out here, let's see. Now, hope is maybe a, a blaze here does a lot of work. All right, well. Tome having good range helped out there. All right, we got everything. Uh, we do need to move back from the wall. Uh, maybe not. All right, we have a potion to handle the fact that I think we're going to get poisoned here. All right, we did not. Yeah, I think there's a there's certainly a version of this challenge that I think Scepter and Scepter and uh, Hammer can do insane work. And I, I think I will I will potentially build a second one to that end. It's just, it's so insane. And we've used no mana. We've basically moved away from using mana entirely on this one. Yeah, Scepter's really good. Oh, these two lining up in that way was quite nice. Alright. The mist isn't feeling so close anymore, which is nice. See, so we got three mountains. That's that's I think max mountains. I I think we're are we one turn away from from starting to pivot to gear? I think we and we're sit, we're floating 400 materials before we've even done these. So I think maybe we do Let's let's see what let's see what it looks like after we've done our upgrades. Wait, what are we... Why are we upgrading these? So, okay. So, I, I do want to get another gold mine. And I'd like to get... So, let's look in the shop before we go crazy here. There's, like, level 3 and 4 gear in the shop. 
The, the current shop has nothing of, of great interest. Let's get let's get those upgraded. And then I think I will Like I don't know what we're spending our money on right now, if I'm being honest. Let's get let's get some gear, I think. Because I think the remaining gear is... The remaining money is probably just going to get sunk into that. Assuming we don't get any value out of other things. This is... This is fine. So we'll probably take that. Better Tome is a good upgrade. Big Stun on a Longbow could be interesting. Don't think any of those work for us. a really nice turtle charm. I think we will be picking that up. Don't mind an offhand wand with accuracy on it, if we're being honest. Ooh, the knight's armor, though. What's a... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't labeled anyone, but it's you. You'd be losing some crit and some damage. Hmm, for another 13% stun? Might be, might be worth it, actually. I feel like crit on a chess piece is not that transformative. This is an easy reroll. Hello, Govna. That offhand sword is really nice, too. We would almost never use the sword component of it. So we'll grab that. We like this. This looks like a reroll. Although power staff is also, I think, quite good. Tome of Secrets... Eh, I want it to have damage on it if we're going to take it. But a better hand crossbow with a propagate bounce is, I think, okay. We have people on level 1 crossbows still. Um, yeah. And we have other better rerolls. I'm going to reroll this one, I think. Plus 2 move. Holy ring is bad. Eh, a little bit of health. All right. I think our reroll didn't work out. I'm trying to think. Stun on a longbow as compared to stun on a scepter. I think I like the scepter more at the moment. So I think we're just taking the one that sells best. And then I like the accuracy here and I like that. What do, what do we have for chess piece? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go knight. Cause I, there's a possibility and this, albeit a remote possibility, this this can just go someplace else and be very nice. Fifty-four damage. I don't think we had anyone with fifty-four damage previously. Oh yeah, so you're gonna be. This is gonna be for our new stun person. Who's who's struggling on accuracy? Put that there. The resistance reduction is kind of nice there. That's a straight upgrade. That's a straight upgrade. Does anyone have freakishly low health and no helmet? Looks like Corolla is the best bet. And then we'll sell that. This I may be hanging on to for the moment. 9% crit and 10% accuracy. What are we... We're rocking skill range over here. And I think we kind of need to... We need to hang on to that. So I don't think we grab that. If that was an offhand wand, it would be great. But I think this is a roll. Huh, skill range on an offhand crossbow. That seems really good. Not a mana crystal. That's a heavy crystal. They look staggeringly similar. Offhand shield with damage on it is pretty good. The night nice shield is also very good. So we're just we're focusing on just trying to get our damage up and operational. So let's see. Someone who has multi-hit and low skill range. You have no skill range at the moment, so we will we'll give you that for a little bit of skill range. 
Then someone who's lagging on damage. Calanthe. Give you that one. And then you are losing, going from basically no crit to basically no crit. Okay. I think, I think some good things happened there. You're going to come over here. We need to repair our walls. This was as much of a threat as I thought it was going to be. So you're going to be over here. Bruno's pretty good. Corolla's pretty good. Your tome is feeling... I, I think Pavel may... Blood magic. Blood magic is carrying pretty hard there. Do we have someone... Like Bruno here, there's no reason that, that Bruno's gear couldn't go over to Pavel and we couldn't make Bruno another stunner. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Okay. We could toss some barricades down to try and cushion things, but night number seven we've done okay with in the past. 